welcome to Tales of Honor Podcast, a podcast dedicated to telling the true stories of every recipient of the Medal of Honor. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Tales of Honor Podcast. I'm your host, Christoph Ambrosch, and today's episode is episode 297. I do want to first wish you all a very happy Easter. Hope you're spending some quality time with your loved ones. I know many people have been kind of uh, sequestered with their loved ones throughout the last few weeks. And today is a very special day for many across the world. And hopefully you're spending today nicely with your friends and family, whether it's up close with your direct family or socially distanced via Zoom or Skype or whatever you're using or FaceTime to uh, to see your family on this Easter Sunday. I don't have any Medal of Honor current events other than to keep plugging away and sending those virtual letters to Living Medal of Honor recipients over at janinestange.com slash MOH. The link is in the show notes. Please keep doing that. We may not be able to send uh, real letters throughout this time, but you can send a virtual letter, which is just as good, really. And actually, it's even better because you're saving paper. You're not wasting paper. So it's a good thing. Go ahead and do that. Also, I did have the opportunity to watch The Last Full Measure this week. And uh, my God, what a good movie done so well. It is about the story of Medal of Honor recipient William Pitzenbarger, and it is available for digital download wherever it is you watch your movies. Uh, I watched it the other night, and man, it, I really, sometimes so many movies get Hollywooded, as as you can say, and uh, they put their own spin on it, and I'm sure there was a little bit to this, but Otherwise, they did a very good job making this movie, and I know it was many, many years in the process, and I'm glad to see they did a very good job on that. So I do recommend you go out and watch The Last Full Measure. And by go out, I mean go down to your living room and watch it there. It's very, very good. Uh, I also got a chance, while we're talking about some stuff to do during your uh, self-quarantining at home, 1917 is also out, which is uh, a World War One movie, and I had the opportunity to see this in IMAX theater when it first came out, which was a phenomenal experience. And uh, it is available on uh, digital download as well, so you can watch that at home now. I do recommend you watch that. That is a it's a very very good movie. Uh, it kind of gives you a little insight into coincidentally the stories that were going over this month and last month during World War One. Just kind of give you a more realistic look at the conditions going on at that time. So I do recommend those two movies. One is Medal of Honor related, the other one's not, but good nonetheless. And now on to episode 297, back to World War I. And now, a tale of honor. John was born in Brooklyn, New York on the 3rd of February, 1890, and when he was young, he and his family moved to Denver, Colorado, where he attended school and eventually joined the U.S. Army. John graduated from the first officer's training camp at Camp Funston in Fort Riley in May of 1917 and was commissioned as a second lieutenant. He was deployed to France in support of World War I, and on the 11th of September, 1918, John wrote one final letter home to his mother. The following day, his actions with the 353rd Infantry Regiment of the 89th Division would earn him the Medal of Honor. The citation reads, Advancing with his platoon during the St. Mihiel Offensive, 2nd Lieutenant Wickersham was severely wounded in four places by the bursting of a high-explosive shell. Before receiving any aid for himself, he dressed the wounds of his orderly, who was wounded at the same time. He then ordered and accompanied the further advance of his platoon, although weakened by the loss of blood. His right hand and arm being disabled by wounds, he continued to fire his revolver with his left hand until, exhausted by loss of blood, He fell and died from his wounds before aid could be administered. John's Medal of Honor was issued to him on the 22nd of January, 1919, and the previous month, a poem that John had written in that final letter made an appearance in a small Oregon newspaper, the St. Helens Mist, shared to them by John's aunt and uncle. It was titled, Its Patter Touches the Heart, and was later called, Raindrops on Your Old Tin Hat. It reads... 
The mist hangs low and quiet on a ragged line of hills. There's a whispering of wind across the flat. You'd be feeling kind of lonesome if it wasn't for one thing, the patter of the raindrops on your old tin hat. And you can't help a figuring, sitting there alone, about this war and hero stuff and that, and you wonder if they haven't sort of got things twisted up while the rain keeps up its patter on your old tin hat. When you step off with the outfit to do your little bit, you're simply doing what you're supposed to do, and you don't take time to figure what you gain or lose. It's the spirit of the game that brings you through. But back at home she's waiting, writing cheerful little notes, and every night she offers up a prayer and just keeps on a-hopin' that her soldier boy is safe, the mother of the boy who's over there. And fellows, she's the hero of this great, big, ugly war, and her prayer is on the wind across the flat. And don't you reckon maybe it's her tears and not the rain that's keeping up the patter on your old tin hat? John Hunter Wickersham was 28 years old when he died near Limey, France, and while he is buried in the St. Mihail American Cemetery and Memorial in France, Plot B, Row 19, Grave 12, his family placed a cenotaph for him in the Fairmount Cemetery in Denver, Colorado. And that was a Tale of Honor. Thank you for listening to Tales of Honor Podcast. Head on over to talesofhonorpodcast.com where you can read these stories, see other ways to support the show, and easily share a story with your friends and family. Tales of Honor Podcast is written and produced by Christoph Ambrosch, and theme song, A New Beginning, is by Ben Sound. If you have any questions or comments, you can send them to talesofhonorpodcast at gmail.com. And until next time, I'm Christoph Ambrosch. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening.